Yo, what's up everybody? Hitman BK here and we've got another video for Suicide Squad Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And you know what? There's been some new people to the channel, so let me just reintroduce myself. I'm Hitman BK. Um, if you ever notice, I've always got things kind of going on behind me, and that's because I've got uh, kids. I've got two little girls I'm absolutely in love with. I'm a full-time dad, full-time employee, part-time content creator, <laughs> but I do it when I can. Um, I try to make videos every week for everybody on content and games that I'm following and really like, and right now that's definitely Suicide Squad, although I am excited for the Diablo 3 um, new season, Diablo 4 new season that's, that uh, starts next week. So... But this is not what we're here to talk about. I'm Hitman Man BK. I'm covering Suicide Squad Justice League. And this is a video to help break down everything that's going on. Maybe you haven't seen it. Maybe you don't even know what Suicide Squad is. Maybe you only know based, based on what you saw on Twitter. So I want to give you the lowdown on what Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is, what it's all about, how it works, why you should care. So we're going to get this thing going. And I've got two... Twitter feeds open, one uh, to showcase something that's coming up that Rocksteady tweeted, another one to show a huge spoiler. I'll let you know before I put that up, but it's going to be a really big spoiler about the seasons um, from Miller. Everyone knows I follow Miller. He actually followed me back on Twitter, which was like a huge W in my opinion. Um, so anyways, let's just get to it. Enough talk. If you guys like this, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. This is a game from Rocksteady. Rocksteady Games. Rocksteady Games made all the Batman series. It's probably how you already know them and why the drama started for this game from the get-go. A lot of people assumed Rocksteady was making a Superman game and then this release. It has been since, I think, 2015, maybe 2018. I forget the exact date when the last Arkham game came out. So they have been building something for a really long time. And to kick off what's, what's all going on with the Suicide Squad, the first thing I think we need to say is that Rocksteady made this game like from the from the get-go this is the game they wanted to make there was never a Superman game actually in development there was a big rumor that there was uh, that rumor was false it has come out it is a couple of articles on it the last few days that that Superman game was actually never being made in fact Rocksteady was actually leaving the DCIP and was working on some sort of multiplayer game and we have no idea what that is. And it was actually uh, WB Montreal who was going to do something with Suicide Squad. Some things happened. They decided not to do it. The IP became open again, and Rocksteady picked it up. Um, and I think this is this is circa pre-2020, right? So this game has been in development for a really long time. Matter of fact, I bet whatever multiplayer game they were making, they probably took some of that DNA and put it into Suicide Squad. But just right off the bat, I think it's really good to say like if you rocksteady just was never working on another batman game and they were never working on a superman game they were actually leaving comics altogether and going into some sort of multiplayer game so i'm really happy that they got the suicide squad a deal back because um they're incredible writers i'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with this and it's just the concept of it is really cool so what is it what is suicide squad kill the justice league well as rocksteady stated it is a game that flips everything up on its head, and that's why they wanted to do it. That's what made it really interesting, taking heroes, making them bad, taking bad guys, and pushing them uh, into a space where they are heroes of sorts and have to, and then in the end have to kill the heroes that we all love, which sounds really good. I have no idea why there was any controversy around that. Um, it's really too bad because as – as as a story uh, mechanism, it's that's really that's really good, um, and that can that can really pull for some strong moments. Uh, and Rocksteady even came out recently, one of the developers, and said, "You need to get over it because we, as the title states, we will be killing the Justice League." Doesn't mean that they can't come back in some way, but I think it's safe to say, like when we fight each boss fight, we will inevitably end up killing said said Justice League member. Um, we'll see though. You know who knows. So. That's where we're at. This is the game we're getting. That's that's the that's the brief overview of the story. You play as King Shark, Harley Quinn. Uh, and you know, you guys already know all this. Um, that's not why you're here. Uh, so yes, we play as those four characters. It is going to be a looter shooter. And what makes me really excited for, as we mentioned in our previous video, is they clearly put the time in on the looter aspect. And I think that's something that's really worth knowing. Um, they have one of the big things for Suicide Squad is honestly the fact that there is no gear score. That was something they released in their previous uh 
Q and A that the time they used and the, and the delays they used, I think they actually ended up using that to pull gear score out and figure out how to create an in-game loop and a looter shooter with no gear score, which is a huge, huge thing that not enough people are talking about because I don't know that any game, live service game, has, in a terms of a shooter aspect, has launched with that outside of pulling it out later. Like, you know, even Destiny waited a millennia to stop that power growth because it is it just does it doesn't feel good. And it's a lot of what makes looter shooters weird because you get something early, you can't use it later. If you don't keep playing, you fall behind. So there's a big part of uh, Suicide Squad that's killed the Justice League that I think people should be really excited about, and that's that there is no gear score. You will be able to use whatever you earn at any point, and you will uh, essentially never fall behind as a player. If you just want to play the campaign and jump in on DLCs, you'll be able to do that and not feel like you're in some sort of weird uh, power deficiency. So that's really cool. It is a looter shooter. It's got all sorts of gear uh, tied to this, gear pieces, uh, traversal pieces, weapon pieces, and even gear sets, which is fantastic. That's a feature-rich thing to have on launch that you would assume most games just would have, but they, sometimes they don't or they don't have it as well as it seems on paper that Suicide Squad does. They're saying over 100 builds across the four characters, which is huge. There's even a stat point, a stat point system beyond your level 30 cap that you can share across all four characters and if you take each character to level 30 it actually increases the amount of stats you can earn for that extra stat uh bonuses which is a huge w again because that continues to create more play right outside of that y'all it's it's our heroes as villains in an open world metropolis that will be ever changing, which is also awesome. They've they've already got a year in in planning, and I'm going to show you what that year looks like. And a huge spoiler um, that may or may not, you know, we'll take with a grain of salt. It is a leak, but they clearly have a year's worth of content. They are they have cooked and they are ready to throw into the oven um, if they're not already in the oven. And that's already, that's a huge thing where Brainiac can essentially summon in things into the world, uh, which they also mentioned in their Q and a. So that's, that's fantastic. Um, and not only that, but they're going to be showing off their in game. So if we're talking about in game, what we know about in game is so far they've released two different modes. There's going to be incursion missions and a wave based mode. Essentially, the incursion missions sounds like some sort of dungeon s experience where you actually have an escape mechanism at the end where you'll need to run out as fast as possible without dying with your loot. Um, sounds really fun, and I think we're going to be able to see that and the wave based uh, mode here soon. I'll pull this tweet up right now for you. Um, it was posted today. This is one of taste of our in-game. Join us at 11 on January 19th as our newest members of Task Force X. It's going to be Shroud, Dr. Lupo, and Tarek try to save the world, um, which is really great, too, because, you know, Dr. Lupo and Shroud are big uh, looter shooter guys. They're big into the Destiny crowd. They're big just shooter guys in general. So hopefully this plays well for WB. Um, it's always weird when you see these big streamers and stuff get this. You hope that they play the game and they can they can like you know have like nice comments on it and, and it not feel and not feel like a, a a bit cheated and or spawn even more negative press for this game, which unfortunately does have quite a bit of had a quite a bit of negative press around it. I did get to play the alpha. Um, I have a whole video on that as well, talking about how much I enjoyed that. I think this game actually feels really good. I think it has the fundamentals and the bones for an incredible looter experience if you're that kind of person um let me come back to me real quick and when we come back i'll let you guys i'm gonna let you know ahead of time that this is this is going to be the spoiler part um not only though so yes it is a sh it is a looter shooter um and if you made it this far and you're still wondering like if this game is for you if you do not like shooter third person shooters it's probably not going to be for you um doesn't mean you shouldn't try it, though, because the story is probably going to be – I mean, I think the story is going to be really good. Um, and then I still can't comment on Endgame because I haven't played it, and uh, we'll have to wait and see. But the way they have things lined up sounds really, really fun. Um, and it's cool to see this – to see more looter games trying to try to switch it up. And you know, they have this sort of, like, Borderlands-y – Fortnite, I think, approach to shooting that seems that's both like uh, built around traversal um, and doing these counter shots, collecting like shield harvesting and then mixing in melee. Uh, it's the whole package when you really start to start to mess around with it feels really nice. Um, and 
yeah, I mean, and that's going to be, I think, a staple for all the characters they release. I believe this game is going to be broken into uh, about two and a half, three month seasons, and each season will bring a new section into Metropolis as well as a new hero to play as. Um, and those will all have unique traversal effects, the unique melee effects, and then I assume there'll be more gear put into the game in each one of those. So there'll be a, a big refresh every two and a half, three months, which you see this in Destiny. You see this. This honestly feels more like Diablo, though, than Destiny because you don't have to pay for the Diablo seasons and this content is free. So it seems like they're pulling more from like Diablo's playbook of offering you a full price game, um, offering a battle pass to each season that you can purchase, uh, but then offering the content within the season totally for free for people who own the game. Um, and that's pretty big. Uh, Destiny, for example, is, this, is, this is the one I play the most, so this is what I'm going to compare it to the most, doesn't do that. You have to pay for each season. Um, and honestly, some of the stuff in Destiny seasons is about the same amount of stuff you have in like Diablo seasons that you get for free. Uh, not enough people talk about that, to be honest. But that's just the live service gaming is in a weird state right now. And I'm really happy that Rocksteady is going the route of providing the seasonal content for free with an optional battle pass. Uh, it is a DC game. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be interested in the cosmetics. So I, I could see that being a really popular purchase. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's what we have, right? We have a looter shooter. We've got four characters on launch. There is going to be a robust in-game. There's hundreds of builds already in the game. It's built around a very Borderlands-esque system. It's third-person shooting with melee traversal uh, combos put into the mix. And now, spoiler alert, I am going to show you Miller's tweet. Um, he supposedly farmed uh, the entire season breakdown. So if you don't want to see this, you need to turn it off. Turn it off now, because I'm about to do it. Three, two, one. <gasps> it's not there. Um, wait, where'd it go? Ah, there it is. Okay, so this is what Miller said. The game launches into what's described internally as season zero. This makes sense. Every season is split into two episodes. Season zero only is one episode, right? But it's essentially what he's saying here, he imagines, because the campaign is episode one, which completely makes sense. Each episode is its own update with its own suite of content, including narrative cutscenes, gear, etc. This is his current speculation. So none of this, y'all, is, is locked in, but it's fun to see that this kind of stuff was already um, data mined, you know, early on. It just, it just shows that it's in there, right? So this is year one. Season zero, we're going to have the launch, the campaign, the post game, and then episode two will come out called Infinite Crisis. Season one is going to feature the Joker, and it's called Fear. Episode two is called Duality. We do know that the Joker is probably in season one, and they're going to show this off in the uh, third Insider that's coming out here pretty soon. I'll make a video after that, but we have seen the leaked, um, not even leaked, The uh, at the end of the Q&A, they showed a preview of the Joker's like fun house is what it looked like, and it looks like the Joker is going to be somebody pulled. It's not even looks like it is somebody pulled from another universe into this one that we get to play as. Um Season two is going to be called Frozen Hearts, and he does not reveal who the uh, person's going to be here. Episode two will be called Winter. Season three is going to be called Thieves. Episode one, episode two will be Balance. The The playable character in season three is a character called Lawless, who happens to be, I believe, Deshaun's daughter. Um, and you're going to be going to Gotham. It sounds like, uh, which sounds insane. Season four is Assassin, which is Deathstroke, and episode two is called Control. For year two, which this isn't sorted into seasons yet, it's generally kind of amorphous. He doesn't quite know. This is like the biggest unknown, but it seems like episode one is called like Focus, uh, which could be Katana, and then episode two is called Finality. Um, and his theory here is this won't happen at the game bombs, and it is clear ending point if they want out on storyline two. So this would end, um, and if it does well, we might see more stuff come from that. This is what happens when you don't make a video in a long time. That is a very quick overview of what he suggested could be coming in the seasons. There's more information on his Twitter if you want it, especially about what Gotham offers. Um, I think uh, definitely about what Lawless is, what she's doing, and kind of like a breakdown of her, which I think is really interesting. I don't want to give away everything. I think some things are worth holding on to. But if you want to see those, go follow Miller over on Twitter. And believe me, you will see all sorts of stuff. The man is a genius. Um, yeah, and y'all, I'm excited. I'm super excited for this game. I hope you are too. Um, 
I'm not going to be easy on it. I'm a big looter guy. I love Destiny. I played The Division. I played Avengers. I played Borderlands. Um, so I have opinions. I will definitely be sharing them when the game comes out. Uh, I pre-ordered so I can start playing early. And I'm going to try to stream this game as well every Friday. I like to get back into doing that and bring in a space for everyone to come and hang out who's part of the Filthy Casuals. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment. Tell me what you think about all this. What are you most excited about? If you have any questions about the game, please sound off. I know I went really fast. Um, I feel like a lot of this information is just kind of everywhere right now so i wanted to make something put it into a little ball for you kind of re-explain what avengers uh what avengers what suicide squad is and uh why it's a looter why i'm excited for it and the information we have so far like subscribe comment until next time you guys keep being good humans